Hey, good morning. I pray you're doing well. I just wanted to bring you this message. You know, as we are waiting upon the Lord, we must stand firm and not be shaken. And also, to make sure that we actually study the Word of God. You know, in these final hours, uh, deception is so thick that we could actually be swayed away from the truth. So one of the things I'd like to read is at the coming of the Lord. This can be found in Luke 21. Uh, we're going to go ahead and be, begin in verse 25. And I just want you to to sit back and listen to this because the Lord has been warning us. He's been sending so many signs. He's been warning us over and over and over. And so I just want to go ahead and start reading. It says, uh, there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And we've been seeing that, uh, especially over the past several years. The blood moon tetrads have been just off the hook. There's been so many of them. It's been unbelievable. Uh, there's been solar eclipses. There's been certain celestial alignments. There's been comets. I mean, everything the Lord is trying to show us over and over and over is, is are we listening? Do we have our eyes open? Uh, uh, there will also be distress of nations, which we see. We see the distress of nations right now. We see the wars and rumors of wars. We see everything going out. We see the mark of the beast going out and putting the yoke of bondage upon the whole earth. So I'm going to go ahead and read this again. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and on the earth there will be distress of uh, nations and anguish among among us, all people in perplexity and roaring and tossing of the sea and the waves. People fainting from fear and expectation of the dreadful things coming upon the earth. And the very powers of the heavens will be shaken and you will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with power, with all great glory. Now when these things occur, stand up and lift up your heads in joy because your redemption is drawing near so our redemption is drawing near as we see everything going on around the world as we see these things taking place we know that our redemption is drawing near though this passage is telling us of a pre-tribulation rapture i know many have been confused about this but we have to remember that we were not subject to his wrath those who are sealed in christ are not subject to his wrath now those who are not sealed in christ they are subject to his wrath. So those who believe that they're going to go into the tribulation, it's possible, chances are you're going to go into the tribulation. So we must be always on guard. So it goes on. One of the things I'd like to read is, uh, well, it even says here, uh, if you go, just go down a little bit to Luke 21, 30 through, uh, 34 through 36, is be on guard so that your hearts are not weighed down with depressed and giddiness of debauchery and dissipation, the nausea of self-indulgence and the worldly worries of this life. And when that day, when the Messiah returns, will come on you suddenly like a trap, for it will come upon the whole world who live, all those who live on the face of the earth. But keep alert at all times, be attentive and ready, praying that you may have strength and the ability to be found worthy and to escape to escape all these things that are going to happen upon the earth and to stand in the presence of the Son of Man at His coming. It does not say to be ready to endure these things. It's pray that you're counted worthy to escape all these things. So we must have our eyes open. I know this passage of Scripture for some reason is, is uh, it's actually misinterpreted many times. The Lord has been warning us. He's been sending warning after warning after warning. And we see these things taking place. Now again, if you're not in Christ, yes, you will suffer through the tribulation. But if you are in Christ, if you're not weighed down with the, the worries and, and the concerns of this world, and you're waiting upon the Lord, and your eyes are focused on Him, and you're praying that you're counted worthy to escape, not participate, to escape all these things that will happen upon the earth, You'll be rescued if your heart is fully for Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah. If your heart is continuously in unison with him. Because belief in the original language was a continuous commitment. Not belief and then just say, oh, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. But belief full and wholeheartedly. You know, as we see the distress in nations, we see the anguish going out upon the whole world. We see the mark of the beast putting that stranglehold, the yoke of bondage upon all of mankind, even those who are called within the body of Christ. We must be ready, must be on guard. 
And it seems to be that because there are less people on the earth now, if you know what I mean, because of the mark of the beast, that there are more demons to actually put their pressure, if you will, upon those who are still left here before the rapture. You know what I mean? Do you hear what I said? Be ready. The reason why there's more pressure upon you is because there's less Christians. There's less people to mess with. So he's going after those who are still sealed in Christ. Because those who have already taken the mark of the beast, he does not have to put any influence or pressure on. I hope you have a blessed day. Stand guard. Look up for your redemption. Draws near us in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.